Morning, VC. All right, a bunch of stuff came in this week, so I'm gonna show everything here um, that I showed on the Jazz Bums stream last night, and then a little extra. Um, since I really only showed the Jazz there, and maybe one uh, rock, seven inch. Uh, first record. This was a pre-order. Um, this is a crazy ass heavy band from Kansas City, Missouri. Um, Missouri Executive Order 44 on Learning Curve Records out of Minneapolis. Short, crazy heaviness, um, hard, hardcore record. Um, yeah, they wear bicycle helmets on stage. Um, this is a really nice pressing of this. And the one side is... Uh, raised etching um, it's called salt sermon uh, I'm not sure if this sold out or not but I made sure to jump on the pre-order of this um, I had never heard them before they've got other stuff um, that I need to check out but um, yeah there's your insert the words a lot of reading material there if you're into that you're into following along with the crazy lyrics on this. Um, this is awesome. Um, I just really dig the guitar stuff. Uh, I'm a big guitar guys, you know. So this this hits on the right notes for me. Uh, so the next stuff is not really in any particular order. Um, this came from Carolina Soul. Uh, this was a Buy It Now uh, dead stock item from uh, Elvin Jones's wife's col uh, collection of his stuff that was in her estate sale. Um, and Elvin Jones is on the mountain with Jan Hammer and Gene Perla on the PM label. So this was a mint sealed original copy from 1975. So it's close to 50 years old. It's a 49 year old record. So I was a little worried that it might be warped. It's in fucking perfect shape. I'm very, very pleased to get this. Uh, this is one I've been looking for for many years. Um, just one I wanted to find in the wild, but uh, when one came up from the estate, I, I jumped on it. Bill got one as well uh, from the vinyl verse. He also got, there were two other dead stock Elvin Jones records. He, he got all three. I just got this one here. Um, but this is funky and got good Moog playing from Jan Hammer, electric piano. Um, Gene Perlow plays the electric bass. They, they, this this record just slays. That's that's a fun record. Um, I got a couple records from Dusty Groove. I had not looked through Dusty Groove in a long time. There were a lot of nice records that were expensive. I passed on those and got two very cheap records. Um, I got this Billy Holiday on ESP disc for two dollars ninety nine cent. Um, one that was missing from the collection. This is uh, newly discovered performances of twelve songs that were broadcast between nineteen forty nine and nineteen fifty two. Never released. Um, there were three records like this that ESP disc put out uh, later on. They put out a, um, a Bud Powell and they put out a Charlie Parker. You know, kind of stuff they were able to get access to from the estates which was interesting but this is uh this is the original first press uh, the second or well there was another press in the same year that had a gatefold but this is the single sleeve pressing on esp disc uh, beautiful stuff from billy holiday love that cover on that and then the other item i got from there this was fourteen dollars I was very pleased to find one of these there's a whole series of these this is volume five of the new sounds in modern music as played by its creator Charlie Parker on the Savoy label this is a seven inch uh, this is from 1952 um, and this sounds freaking great it was a low grade but I cleaned it with my groove washer kit and it plays freaking great and the song that opens the b-side Clonstance, it 
absolutely slays. It is free jazz in 1952. I mean, they can say, you know, there's other things that came later in Europe. But Charlie Parker went out, and he wasn't coming back till the end of that track. The rhythm section finally, finally draws him back into some a semblance of order. Absolutely throwing down, completely improvised. Um, yeah, that it, it, this is really was a shock on how uh, out the, it, it got. Really awesome stuff. Yeah, new sounds in modern music for sure. 1952. Um, I'll show you the, yeah, it's got a lot of information on other, I think, titles on the back there, and, um, here's what the record looks like, Savoy label, it's a nice EP here, um, I, the others are different color covers, I'd like to find the other volumes, um, I think these were originally released on 10 inch, um, but they also did these seven inches, um, maybe for jukebox play or what have you. Um, very cool to have that. That's, I love that little record. Um, let's see, what am I gonna show next? Um, I got a fantastic VCLT package from Tice. Um, out in Denver, uh, Sound of Minder is the channel. I'll leave a link to his channel. Um, a favorite new channel find for me um, over the last year or so, um, probably thanks to Alex or Dom, one of the two, um, or maybe it was Brandon. One of the, one of those guys turned me on to him. Um, he just went on a trip to Japan that just. <laughs> mind-blowing stack of records that he was able to bring back um and yeah um i did a video and i showed where i picked up this record from repo um and was very happy to find it it's a shellac uh, dude incredible um, i think there's only this one pressing and it came with a cd originally but my copy was missing the cd i got a discount on the record for that but um he had happened to have a copy of the CD, just you know, without a cover or whatever, and he sent it my way, to com so it completes this package. Very thoughtful uh, for him to do that. Um, so now I have the CD here with this. Um, I could put that in the car and jam it whenever I want, or in the house on the boombox. So this is one touch and go. But yeah, so that was very thoughtful. But I thought, and I thought that's all he was sending me, but he. Of course, hooked me up. He threw a record and I think like five CDs in the package as well. And I'm be getting into these today. I'm pretty stoked. Um, this is a record disperser, a bastion of etc. A Chicago duo. Um, fantastic artwork on this cover. Um, this is on an interesting label, um, RS Apothecary. I'm not familiar with, but uh, I guess this is supposed to be really good heaviness um probably similar to like i don't know horse the band or the locust or some things like that um so it'll probably be right up my alley um we're gonna give that a go here as soon as i get done with this video i got a bunch of I'm getting the boom box out because he also sent a stack of very interesting cds on a couple of labels i was not familiar with and this stuff is probably going to be very experimental which i'm excited about because it's going to be stuff i've never heard um Adam H. Elements. This is on the Debacle Records label. Um, but this has got some loops, electronics, and effects, bass guitar, piano. Adam H. does more loops. So this should be, and this is a freaking cool package on this CD. And you've got fires in California, and then you got the ocean here. North Atlantic Current. CD is really cool looking. Um, this is probably going to be the first one I uh, get into today. And I'll get back to you, Tyson, how I feel about all these. Uh, but this was recorded in Queens, New York. Um, very cool. That one, that one looks very interesting. And then we got this one here. Uh, Brendan Glasson? I think. I'm not sure. 
This one's hard to. I don't, some of these I couldn't find on Discogs. Uh, and also on this one's also on Debacle. Um, so it should be possibly in line with that other type of stuff. We'll check this one out. And then he sent this one another really awesome looking cover. It reminds me of a cover of uh, a Mark Lanigan record. Um, one of the Mark Lanigan band, Blues Funeral. This is also on the Debacle Records label. This is Arkin and Lawler and John Crossbauer. So this is some steel resonator guitars and then banjos, bells, and oscillators from 28. This is recorded in 2018. Um, also, that's some really cool instrumentations on this, I imagine. National, yeah. So looking forward to that one. I'm going to get into all these today. This is uh, Guy or Guy... Uh, Capitolatro the third heading north again. Um, this looks like a jazz outfit um, from New York, I believe, recorded in New Hampshire. Um, this is on Drum Dairy Records out of Kingston, New York. So yeah, I'm not well. I'm not sure where that guy's from, but recorded in New Hampshire could be from up there, but that's. That's very cool looking. And then a sampler of that label. Hi, how are you doing? On the, on his, and they made this look like a Blue Note record. Um, but it says Brew Note. That's very cool. So this has got a bunch of stuff on it. And I've actually, I think one of these artists I had heard of is on here. Yeah, Stoyvesant. I've heard of that um, group or artist, but that's the only one I've heard of, so. Uh, thanks again, Tice. This is going to be freaking fun today. Um, and again, I'll, like I said, I'll, let, I'll, uh, I'll send you a message on what I think of each one of these and uh, what paths it may lead me down to other records, because that's usually what happens when I find something I dig. Um... Next, I'll show one record I found um, the other day at Lunchbox. Um, I went in there. I was going to pick up a reissue. I forget which. And I was like, you know what? Let me look in the used first and see if there's something I'd rather have over a reissue that I can get later. And I found this. They had put out a few uh, promos that they had gotten for the store from labels and de had decided to sell them. Um, this one is extra cool because it's autographed by the entire band. This is the Delvin Lamar Organ Trio. I told you so. Their third record. Um, a great organ trio from Seattle, Washington. Um, the Coal Mine label out of Ohio. And I've got all the stuff prior here. The uh, Close But No Cigar. I have the CD of that. I got that as VCLT. And then uh, the live at uh, KEXP in Seattle is killer and that was a record store day uh, issue at that time um, I think I, I actually that's the maybe the only record I got that record store day was that um, from repo um, but th this is such a killer trio um, Jimmy James with a badass on guitar Devin Lamar on organ this particular record has Grant Schropp on drums uh, they change drums all the drummers all the fucking time uh i'm not sure why they can't keep a drummer but um yeah anyway very very cool uh, promo and it is a white label it's a gatefold really nice photo in the gatefold and this is some good funky soulful jamming rocking jazz there's your label and it does come with a uh, signed insert from Terry Cole the uh, co-owner of Coal Mine Records you know, to, they sent this to Lunchbox as promo material so that hopefully they would order a bunch of these to sell in the shop and he, he had a few of these um, when it came out and I think he sold them all I don't remember there being any copies left um, 
and they've played Charlotte before. Really good band. So that was that was a very cool find. Um, and last but not least, I got a package. Dom at Seeking a Thread was kind enough uh, to take a good bit of his time and energy uh, to hook a bunch of us up. Um, he let us know that he was going to uh, a, a trip to Montreal. He was hoping to get up with Kieran from Needle Groove. Uh, it didn't happen, but I'm sure it will happen eventually. Um, he and him not being too far uh, from Montreal up in upstate New York. And um, but he did, he did meet up with another guy up there. Um, they went to Aux 33 Tours, which is one of the better shops in Montreal. Uh, one that... Uh, Kieran holds in high regard and so we rummaged their discogs and um, because the uh, conversion rate is very very good right now with uh, the US dollar to the Canadian and uh, and then of course with buying a bunch of stuff I'm sure Don was able to negotiate a, a, a good discount even off of that and so um, I sent him the cash and he sent me what I had picked out from their Discogs page. Um, got, uh, what did I get here? I think maybe three seven inches, uh, three or four seven inches maybe? No, three seven inches and uh, seven, uh, CD and one record. Uh, the record I got, this was inspired by Tice out in Denver, uh, Sound of Minder. He had brought back a bunch of records from this artist and I, ha I have two I'll show these. I, ha I have these two records here that I've had for a long time from uh, Masahiko Togashi. Uh, that's, of course, his most famous record, uh, Song of Soil, you know, the session in Paris with Don Cherry and Charlie Hayden. Um, he's the, you know, the armed drummer. He was uh, confined to a wheelchair. He made a lot of records, a lot of great records, um, great free jazz, um, that being one. And then, uh, of course, the I think the pretty much the follow up to this, um, yeah, the Color of Dream session in Paris Volume Two, um, Paddle Wheel, or yeah, I believe this was on Paddle Wheel, or maybe it's King Records. Anyway, yeah, this has got Albert Mangelsdorf on trombone. Um, it's got, uh, of course, Jenny Clark on bass. Absolutely fantastic as Japanese uh, original of that one. Um, but that's all I had for Tagashi. And he brought back a lot of the records of his group, uh, the Guild for Human Music. And they had this one, and they had it marked down because the cover's got some uh, discoloration. But it's an original on, from 1977 on Denon Jazz of uh, Essence, Tagashi's Guild for Human Music. Um, this has got flute and cello in the group. Um, absolutely fantastic. It's got uh, Sato on uh, piano. Um, yeah, I'm very, very stoked to get this at a, at a very reasonable uh, price and it still has the Obi in the insert. Um, I'll show you the label. Very cool. And they have, they have one more of his records. I might order it at some point. is just a stunningly mint copy of the record itself um, very very pleased to find this on the Discogs page for that shop that one was like on the first page I looked at I was like oh boy I'm in for it if I'm gonna be finding stuff right away like this um, and then I, I picked out this CD because it was cheap very cheap uh, Mars at Watts on ESP disc, the German issue of this CD. Um, and I have this original record, and this is one of the best ESP disc free jazz records ever made. Um, it's interesting on the on the insert, it's got the full list of just the jazz titles uh, that ESP disc put out the first you know, kind of in their first 100 records um, or so. Well, you had some of the three, there's four 3,000 series jazz records listed here. 
of which I have two of them, and I'm missing two of those. Um, of all of those listed, I am short eight of those, and that's it. I have all the others. Um, so this is a nice little guide to remind me on what it is I'm looking for when it comes to ESP disk and completing their jazz cannon. Um, pretty much essential business. But this was very cool to find, uh, throw in the car for drives to work. Um, and then there were these um, three seven inches, which are all fantastic, um, especially this one. Lester Young, uh, this is from 1956 on the Vogue label from France. Um, and there are three volumes, um, all with a similar cover. Um, but this, this is absolute fire. Uh, picking up where that Charlie Parker left off, just absolutely throwing down, um, free and improvised. Um, a lot of groove though. I mean, it doesn't, you know, these, these songs are absolutely incredible. Just cooling, sax of beep, um, one o'clock jump, jumping uh, at the woodside. Um, all these tracks are absolutely killer. Um, yeah, I'm going to be listening to this a bunch. Um, it's a great little EP. And again, I'm going to have to try to find some of the others. Uh, Roy Haynes is on drums on the first two tracks. Lyndall Marshall is drums on the second two. I don't know any of these other guys that he plays with. But uh, yeah, it's got the tip on back. Um, this was very cheap. Um, condition wasn't listed very good. I cleaned it up and it plays absolutely fine. Um, I'd say it plays VG. Um, so that was really cool find. I've uh, never seen these before. Um, this one's a big one. Um, I'd love to still get an original of this. It'll go about 30 euro, but this is uh, Bratzman, Van Hoven, Han Benink. Uh, this is Ein Hotzrenlied. Uh, that's how it's pronounced in German. I'm not sure, but it's a seven inch. Uh, that was originally on FMP. Uh, this is on Cienfuegos from Austria from 2012. Uh, this was an RSD uh, release in, at that time, um, which I was not aware of. So very cool to get that for some great free jazz from Peter Brodsman and crew. And then this free jazz seven inch um, Mats Gustafsson and uh, Johns Lunds, both on baritone sax, recorded Mayhem in 2011. Um, this and this is interesting. It kind of it's an oversized sleeve for a seven inch, so you can't really put it in a jacket, but it, it's kind of tucked away in there. There you go. This is kind of what it folds out to look like. Um, had never seen this, um, love Mr. Gustafson on the baritone sax, so I grabbed that, it was very cheap, um, and that's what Dom kindly sent my way, uh, from his trip, uh, with his family, so it was very thoughtful, um, absolutely awesome, and then I got one last 7-inch here, this came separately, um, this is an iconic rock, uh, seven inch I think from 1958 I want to say Link Ray and his Raymen uh, Rumble on the A side and uh, the Swag on the B side some fantastic uh, distorted heaviness on the guitar for maybe the first time anybody heard it like that um, yeah some I just iconic iconic tunes uh, this is John at Digital Gramophone's fault. He turned me on to Link Ray. Um, and so I found... There's plenty of copies of this available cheap. Um, and so I got that. Um, and it plays great. Um, very happy to find that. I actually had found his first record um, for a good price in Asheville. Um, that has Rumble on it. And it can go for... some. I think someone's trying to sell one right now for $350. They wanted like 120 and it was autographed by Link Ray. I put in an offer and they declined the offer. And then when you get
get a declined offer on Discogs, you can't just go back and make another offer. You have you're gonna have to pay what they're asking. So I was thinking about getting it later on, and someone bought it already. But I did get the seven inch, which has the song I wanted, so I'm good there. Um, but yeah, that's that's everything. Uh, hope you're all well. Peace.